getting a little bit nervous. That's okay, that's all part of the job. Hi, and welcome back, y'all Bitcoin Day Traders, to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get your private keys from the newer version of the Android wallet, the Shieldbach wallet. In my last tutorial, I helped you guys out with an older version of the Shieldbach wallet, which did not have a spending pin. One of the watchers told me that he couldn't decrypt his backup. Well, he could decrypt his backup, but he couldn't find his mnemonic code in the backup. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how to decrypt that decrypted file again. What do we need to actually do this? We need to have OpenSSL installed on our computer. We need to have the Bitcoin J, that's the tool that we're gonna use to eventually decrypt the decrypted file. And we need Apache Maven to run Bitcoin J. And we need another thing and that's called the JDK, which is the Java Developer Kit. And I'm gonna teach you how to use this all. Whoa. So we're gonna work on, again, the Android wallet, but now we're gonna use the spending pin. So when you're at your wallet, you need to go on the top right corner to the three dots. Then we go to safety and we're gonna put on a spending pin. So let's put in a spending pin. Pin is gonna be 3694. That's a fair password, but we're gonna set that one. We need to back up that file. So you go back to the three dots, to the safety. Then you press back up your wallet. Then you give it a password, Bitcoin Day Trader. We press okay and we need to archive that file. So we're gonna send that file to our computer and I'm using Gmail to email myself this backup because we need the backup on our PC. So we're gonna send it to ourselves, the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. Press send, send this message. Yes, we are sending ourselves this message. Okay, so that's the first part of this tutorial. Before we can do this, we need to download a couple of programs. And let's begin with finding ourselves OpenSSL. So search for OpenSSL on Google. The, the easiest way to do this is using the Softpedia version. Go to Softpedia and download it here. Download a mirror that's good for your computer. So you have to wait a little bit. So download this OpenSSL zip file and put it on your desktop somewhere. Want to replace it, that's okay. Another thing we need for this tutorial is to get ourselves the Bitcoin J. And you can find it on GitHub. So just search on Google again, go to Google and search for Bitcoin J. And we need to go to the github.com slash Bitcoin J, Bitcoin J. Press it and here you can download the clone, that green button. Download the zip file and place it again on your desktop. Save it, replace it. I already downloaded it, that's why I have to replace it. What else do we need? We have to find Apache Maven. So let's download Apache Maven. You can find it here. Search on Google Apache Maven. Go to the downloads. Am I right? Yeah. And go to the binary zip archive. Save it on our desktop. You wanna replace it? Yeah. And there is a fourth thing that we need and that's the Java JDK. So let's go back to Google and search for the JDK. So I'm using the Java Developer Kit 8. So click this one here. Then you get to this page, the Java Developer Kit. And we need a JDK update 151 for Windows 64-bit. Accept the license here and press the exe file there. Save it to our desktop. In the meantime, we can unzip those files on our desktop. Let's unzip the OpenSSL file, unzip it here, do the same thing for the Bitcoin J and for the Apache file. So let's just start with OpenSSL first. So you gotta go to your C drive, so open your local disk C drive and open the OpenSSL folder. Let's just drag and drop it in the C and press and hold control while dragging it to copy it. Well, you don't even have to copy it because your desktop is under C, so I don't even know why I copied it, it wasn't important. And the same principle applies for the other downloaded folders. So so we can copy paste our Bitcoin J master folder to our hard drive and we need to copy our Apache Maven. Apache Maven, unpack it and let's move it or copy it to the C drive as well. Okay, so these are the three programs that we're gonna use. OpenSSL, Bitcoin J and Apache. And we have to install the JDK version, JDK 8 update 151. And you know how to install this stuff, just click next, 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 and you're finished. Why did I even open this? Because I already installed it, so I don't have to reinstall it. Only thing I'm doing now is waiting for my computer, which isn't really fast. It's an old computer, a 2008 computer. It was super fast that year, but this year it's not fast at all. Okay, welcome to the installation. Okay, you can just click next and next and next and next and it installs the new JDK. So this is important. 
when you're installing it it says here where to install it to and we need to remember this what stands here this c double dot slash program files java let's install it in the meantime we can rename a couple of folders just to make it easier for ourselves go back to your c drive check this open ssl folder and let's rename it to an easier name let's rename it to open ssl let's rename the bitcoin j folder to bitcoin j and let's rename apache maven to just apache maven so we're almost there with the setup what we need to do now is set up these free programs these free folders that we copy to our hard drive we need to set them up in our environmental variables that's because we need to run them in command prompt so let's go to our control panel let's search for system go to advanced system settings go to environmental variables in this environment variables we need to add the java home and that's important for command prompt to use java and we can do that by searching on our c drive in the program file so let's go to program files and search for java and you can find it here check this list you need this folder java developer kits 1.8 and it's update 151 and we need that folder here in our path let's add a new path and it's called java underscore home all capitals we need to direct it to our c drive double dot slash program files slash java slash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 151 and press ok and we need to do the same thing in system variables i don't know if it's necessary but I used to have it that way and it worked for me so another one java underscore home give it the same variables c double dot program files java jdk 151 okay that is to set up our java we need to add here in the path we need to edit it and we need to add this apache line because now we're gonna set up apache so let's open in a new window and we need to set it up with this small directory bin because it needs to connect to this maven mvn maven if you want to add another variable you need to press this button dot comma or i don't know how to pronounce it and then we need to fill in this directory which is the c double dot slash so the c drive the folder apache dash maven slash the bin edit now we have the path for maven and we need to add system variables open ssl the configuration so we need a new system variable we're gonna call it open ssl underscore configuration and it needs to connect to this folder so again c double dot backslash or whatever open ssl slash bin slash open ssl dot cnf there is one more thing we are supposed to do oh yeah, the open ssl system path so this path here you need to edit it go to the end of it dot comma to end the last variable and the next variable is going to be c double dot backslash open ssl no capitals slash bin and then press ok and we're finished with the environmental variables i think that we have set up everything all right right now let's open command prompt cmd this one over here command.exe so let's check if open ssl is working open ssl press enter it's opening ssl we set it up the right way press ctrl c to exit the program the second thing we have to do is check if we set up apache maven the right way we can do that by pressing maven mvn and check the version and if java is installed the right way it's supposed to look something like this if you're not getting a response like this then you're doing something wrong maven home as you see that's what we just made in our environment variables this line remember it the same principle applies for the java home you see if we didn't set it up in our environmental variables it will, we will get an error message here we've installed jdk prepared apache maven we have prepared open ssl and now we need to set up bitcoin j we need to go to this folder bitcoin j to the tools the way we do that in command prompt type cd change directory to c double dot slash bitcoin j slash tools folder tools enter we're now in the bitcoin j directory slash tools so that means we're in this directory and we need to run this program wallet tool wallet dash tool enter now it's going to install the wallet tool and it's going to take a while this might take a couple of minutes we got to wait a couple of minutes so let's wait and last time i was trying to make this tutorial i was working on this part and i thought that the computer froze but i just had to wait a little bit more so it takes a while 
So let's wait and wait and we wait and we wait. Now even though we see a lot of warnings, I think we can ignore them. Because I've seen this warning all the time, it's not red. So it's not danger or something. So while it is installing, we are supposed to get our backup. And let's put the backup in the Bitcoin J tools folder. So we can work from this folder when it is installed. I emailed it to myself. So let's go to Gmail. I have a new email. Let's download this backup and save it. So let's go to the Bitcoin J folder that we've just created and save it here. And let's rename it in a more convenient name, Android because it's our Android wallet. And as you see, it's still installing. So it takes a while, this installation. And it's supposed to do this because it's downloading and unpacking all kinds of important files for the Bitcoin J. Whenever you see this screen, you know you're finished. It has been installed the right way. And as you can see, the wallet tool prints and manipulates wallets. We're almost there, you guys, we're almost there. It's not that hard anymore. This installation of those programs was the hardest part. First, we check our Android file. You can open it with Notepad. I'm using Notepad++. It lines out everything a little bit nicer. Just like in the last video, it's totally decrypted. I keep calling it decrypted, but decrypting is something else than encrypted. It's totally encrypted, encrypted. So let's decrypt this Android file. And to decrypt it, we need to use OpenSSL. OpenSSL, our file is encrypted and we need to decrypt it. And it is encrypted with the AES 256 CBC. It used MD type of MD5. A and our in would be our wallet. It will be this file here that we just downloaded, the backup of our wallet. So in space, it's called Android. Android, and we're gonna create a new file and it's called Android underscore decrypted. Just like in the last tutorial. And you need to enter the password and this password is gonna be the password of the backup. That will be Bitcoin Day Trader. And you won't see it in your screen, but you press enter and it is finished. And if we watch this file now and open it with notepad, you see that we don't have our mnemonic code like in the last tutorial, because this is a newer version and this file is again encrypted. So we need to decrypt this decrypted file. And we're gonna use the Bitcoin wallet tool for this. And we are in the Bitcoin wallet tool folder already, as you see, CW Bitcoin J tools. Let's just run the wallet tool. So write down wallet dash tool. We want this program to dump our private keys. So dump a file and we want it to dump our private keys. We have a file that's encrypted, we want it to decrypt. We need to give it a password, the password that is not the password of the backup, because we've already decrypted that, but it is the encryption that is created because you have a pin, a spending pin on your wallet. So that will be your spending pin. Password equals 3694. I think that was my spending pin. If you don't know your spending pin, I'm gonna make another tutorial how to brute force your spending pin, but that's not important right now. And we want that on our wallet. Wallet is the new Android decrypted file. So that's gonna be capital A Android underscore decrypted. Yeah, I got the camera right in front of my screen. So sometimes I have to look around. Android decrypted, that's this file up here. And we're gonna give it an output and we want it to be our Android underscore keys and let's press enter and wait and I think we're finished right now it created an Android keys file if we open this with a notepad you see we have decrypted the encrypted file I'm gonna open it with notepad plus plus so it's more in order and as you see now we have this file and you can find your seed here that's your mnemonic code in the last tutorial that I made of getting your private keys from the Android wallet, I used this wallet as an example. That's 1EJMB. And here would be, this last line would be the private key of that wallet. So all these lines that you find here are all your private keys. There's a lot of keys in use by this wallet. We did it. I did it, we did it, you guys did it. We finally got our private keys and this time we have them in a more organized way than the last time because the last time we had to use the internet and in this, this tutorial you don't even have to use the internet so you won't compromise your keys. I think that we did it. 
I hope you guys are happy right now because I am happy that I can do this and so I think you guys will be happy to be able to get your private keys back. So now you can use your private keys, the list that you find here in the right of the screen. You can use those keys to get your Bitcoin cash or to use it for the Bitcoin gold or whatever hard fork. Maybe you lost your access to your wallet, I don't know. But you got your private keys back and that's why you were here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something new today. If it helped you out, be sure to drop a like on this video and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because yeah, I've got lots of videos and there are lots of videos to come. <laughs> to come, I said to come. <laughs> In the future, I'm gonna make more videos and I'm gonna put them on this channel so if you subscribe, you can find them easier. Stop laughing at me. Oh, you're not laughing at me? I thought you were laughing at me. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and uh, as always, see you guys next time. We did it. We did it. We opened another wallet. Yeah, I can dance a robot too, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard, I know. I knew. We did it. We finally did it. Goodbye you guys.